What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So right now I'm at Ontario International Airport. Next stop is Utah. Yep, I'm flying to Utah. I'm actually on my way to experience the all new Ford Edge ST SUV driving school. This is actually a program put on by the Ford Performance Racing School and it's designed exclusively for Ford Edge ST owners. Okay guys, so we just made it to Salt Lake City, Utah. Next stop is a baggage claim and I should be greeted by someone holding a Ford sign. Guess we're just gonna see what happens, guys. I finally made it. Okay, guys, so we just made it to the hotel, a sundial. This is pretty cool, guys. Here we are, we made it. We made it, guys, to Utah, California to Utah. This is where I'm staying right here. Now, tonight, I'm going out to dinner with um, everyone here who's with Ford and tomorrow that's when all the events kick off but um this this location right here guys this this is nice I, I really do like it it's so nice to get away from California for a little bit and experience something new right right behind me is actually the edge STs that are for the Ford Performance Racing School that being when you buy the Edge ST, similar to how when I bought my GT350, you get a complimentary um, experience at the track and the Ford team can help teach you how to drive your vehicle properly. Honestly, the GT350 track attack was so much fun, but this is essentially the same thing. However, it's made for Edge ST owners. So we're gonna see um, exactly what Ford's gonna have us do. We're gonna see how good this experience is, guys. This is gonna be, it's gonna be so much fun. Anyways, guys, next up is dinner. You get coming now. Um, we just started the STSUV experience. We had our fifth class um, today, so it's pretty new. Um, but it's a lot of fun. Ford Performance has really taken on an approach that they are part of the performance family now. You're, this is part of the Shelby GT350 wrap. It's all kind of a big family now, but there is something to it. A lot of what the ST stands for um, significant power, performance upgrades, the handling will be different. A lot of it's generating a lot of fun that you can do on a daily basis. Something you can go out and have a lot of fun. It's exhilarating, but you can drive it every single day. So oh, it's 7 a.m. right now, and um, right now I'm heading to the breakfast. That's going to last for about an hour, I think. Then after that, the entire day is going to kickstart. Here we go. Okay guys, so here we are outside of the hotel and this is what you will be greeted by if you do attend the Ford Edge ST SUV experience. Luckily, I did get the Ford Performance Blue, which is over there. Honestly, I really do like that color, guys. This is my vehicle for the day, Ford Edge ST. See, now that's one thing you're going to notice is that this is an ST. That means this is a Ford Performance vehicle. So you'll be greeted by a Ford Performance door sill towards the bottom. And over here, we got my name tag. And uh, okay, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I really do think so. Interestingly, we all have Ford Performance Racing School walkie talkies. Here we go, guys. So we're getting further and further into the wilderness, which is just fantastic because, well, if you look around us right now, we have tons of mountains absolutely everywhere. Check this out. Now we're gonna see exactly how the Edge ST feels in the corners. As you guys know, I did track this vehicle once before. I'm gonna pop it into sport mode so that we always have the vehicle in the right power band. I think I prefer sport mode over every other mode because it just gives you that extra punch. One thing about me is that I love to go on adventures and this is exactly what I would call this. Look how high we are guys, look down there. We're constantly breaking because we have, I think, 15 Edge STs here today, but you get instant brake bite. It makes you feel as if, if I need to stop on a dime, 
Well, I can definitely do so. This feels very confident, inspiring. So we made it to Soldier Hollow. Now I believe we'll be shooting today. Guess, uh, guess we're gonna find out. I'm kind of blocking you guys. Well, essentially, two different uh, exercises here. We're sitting up here, um, right in behind this board, which we'll see in a demonstration here in a second, is a lane change to a stopping exercise, getting over to where Kyle will be standing, and then run up to the balloon car on the right there. Uh, you know, it's really impressive what these cars will do if you actually turn them super hard. A couple of things that help you do that is the car's a little bit lower, right? So a little, a little bit lower ride height. Obviously it has a little bit stiffer springs, bigger sway bars, a lot of different technology built throughout the whole car that make it um, just essentially just turn better, do everything better. And I want you to kind of learn how good that is, right? So uh, the first run is, is going to go down there and it looks like very simple. Like, what do, you, what do you want me to do here? You know, you just go down, you turn hard left, hard back right, and then come to a stop. And then we're going to build up the speed. Go for it. Gotcha. Here we go, guys. 25 miles an hour. So right now, I have to drive straight into the back of that fake car and completely let off all the pedals and see what happens. It's gonna be super sketchy, guys. So I gotta drive 20 miles an hour, guys, and don't hit anything. It's gonna be scary. Let's see what happens. Good. And it will take you right to that car. It's okay. gonna take you right up. Right? Okay, looking forward to it. All right, give it a shot, no more than 20. Gotcha. Okay, guys, here we go. 20 miles an hour or so. Let off at the double cone and just go from there. Oh God, there we go, guys. <laughs> you know what, that actually, that definitely works. I'm not sure if you guys are ever gonna try that at home or anything. I'd highly suggest not to. But uh, that's one great feature about the Edge ST. Welcome to the skid car and the parking demo. So what we're gonna practice here is we're gonna practice a lot of weight management, okay? So, say I'm going into a corner, all right? And I go to the throttle. Where does the weight of this vehicle go? It goes to the back, okay? Does everybody see that transfer? So we have, we added weight to the rear of the car, but we took away weight from where? The front. The front, right? It's physics. We'll feel the steering wheel get light, and we just want to come out of the throttle. You'll feel the steering wheel gain weight again, and you'll feel it want to change directions a little bit better, okay? Same thing down here. We'll get it turned in. We'll start adding throttle. We'll come out of the throttle. Could you feel the car try to change directions a little bit better for you? It's kind of hard to feel, but you'll feel it in the steering wheel. It'll be a little bit more clear from that standpoint. All right. I'll be looking through the corner, looking where we want to go. You're going to feel the car come around on you. <laughs> and you just want to be nice and smooth. A pretty expensive setup to install on a vehicle. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's it's $50,000 just for the outriders. Yeah. So start going to power. They come out of it. Good. And you'll feel it try to change directions for yeah. you. You'll feel it a little bit. All right. So over steer? Yep. Be ready for it. Fast with your hands. Good. Fast, fast. Good. Good stand ahead of the car. Beautiful. Slow down a little bit because this one, this one's going downhill, so it really gets you. Good. Yep. Fast with your hands. There you go. Good. I want you to back up just a little bit and cut over to the right uh, oh, while you're doing sorry. this. That's okay. Stop. Okay, I'm just thinking, man, that is close. It does get close in the front. In just a second. Finished. Okay, guys, so lunch just ended. Now, I'm not sure if the next activity is going to be the autocross, but I guess we're going to find out. 
So here we go guys, we're going behind the building we ate lunch at. Take a look at this guys. I finally found out what it was. So next stop is a biathlon shooting course. Looking forward to this. Okay, here we are guys, turning off the Edge ST. Uh, this is an on-shoots rifle with a Fortner bolt. The Fortner bolt is what we call a straight pull bolt, so that means you pull it straight back, push it straight forward to load or reload. Um, these guys are made in Germany. Uh, about 99% of the World Cup athletes shoot with basically that action. Very accurate, uh, and they are, there are a few elements here that we'll talk through that make them very specific to biathlon target shooting. Um, the red part, so what we call the stock, red and then everything back here, this is a, uh, a, a fully adjustable stock, so it makes our investment in these firearms uh, go a lot further so I can have it fit one of you larger gentlemen and then also one of my 10 year old kiddos. Um, but a, 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 if you watch like World Cup level competition you'll see that the athletes have painted their stocks and they have kind of different configurations and that is to fit the individual geometry of, um, of that person. Uh, so yeah we're shooting a 22 long rifle. The bullet runs about 1150 feet per second. Sub, um, so it's no, it, yeah, it, it's not breaking the sound barrier, so it doesn't make a lot of noise. The kick, if you're going to tap yourself on the shoulder, that's about what this rifle will feel like. Okay guys, here we go. We're about to do the autocross with the Ford Edge STs. It's gonna be interesting. I believe they're timing it. Pretty simple. It's a pretty fun little course. I've got a little diagram. I'll walk you through it. Um, honestly, walking through it, driving it are two different things, but uh, I'll do my best here. So now our course out here, um, it's some long sweeping corners and plenty of grip out there. Push the car, have a lot of fun. Okay guys, so we did the autocross over there. Right now we are heading out, we're heading back to the hotel, I think. And I believe that that's gonna wrap everything up. Absolutely incredible experience, guys. Looking at it, I didn't know what to expect. Honestly, I didn't know how everything was going to turn out because as you guys know, we're not at the Ford Performance Racing School. We are actually driving around in Utah but everything worked out perfectly and I think the entire experience is perfectly suited for this vehicle. With the GT350, it's a track car. It's a car designed to go to the track and that's why they engineer their exercises the way they do. When, when you go to the GT350 track attack, they teach you how to heel toe down shift, also to threshold brake and how to properly take apexes and learn the line of a road course. Here, on the other hand, we're driving performance SUVs. These aren't supposed to be dedicated track vehicles. These are supposed to be vehicles that are designed for everyday use, practicality. It's not screaming at you that I am a performance car. Driving right now, I feel as if I can drive it absolutely anywhere. I can drive it long distance to work and have fun. This is perfect for that. Well, I think after this whole day is finally finished now, and I'm, I think, five minutes away from the hotel, I, I think, I think it does deserve the ST badge. If you were wondering who exactly buys an Edge ST, and what exactly it's good for, 
This whole experience helps to show you, helps to show you why you bought an Edge ST. And I think Ford having the ability to put on these programs and completely combine the cost of it within the purchase of your car is fantastic. Not many manufacturers really do that. Just think about it. How many manufacturers actually do this? The answer is not that many, guys. It's not that many. So that is one great thing about buying a Ford Performance vehicle is that, well, you're part of the Ford Performance family. 